Uh, Lana, welcome to our lesson today, uh, Human Resource Management subject on the Manifested Publishers uh, Learning Platform. And uh, today we are looking at uh, performance management and we are going to look at an interesting area which is uh, techniques of appraising performance. We will look at the two categories of techniques that uh, can be used to appraise performance, categorized in terms of the traditional methods uh, and also the modern methods. Then we'll see examples within each of those particular uh, categories. So here Lana, uh, techniques, uh, techniques or methods of uh, appraising uh, appraising uh, performance performance uh, can be categorized into two so you have one uh, modern met uh, you have traditional methods uh, number one uh, traditional methods Uh, methods and then you have two uh, modern methods uh, modern methods so basically Lana the difference between the two methods uh, is uh, in relation to the approach that is taken uh, in relation to the method of appraising performance so within the traditional methods there are, there are also approaches that uh, are used and also within the modern methods there are also approaches which are used uh, uh, in appraising performance so we can have a look at uh, the traditional methods uh, traditional methods uh, methods uh, of uh, appraising performance traditional methods of appraising performance. So under the traditional methods of appraising performance, uh, there is a feedback mechanism method. A feedback mechanism method. A feedback a mechanism. A method. So under this method, uh, the supervisors will give uh, the employees feedback. Employees give feedback to the supervisors and uh, uh, the, 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 the process uh, uh, is uh, a feedback-based method so that uh, those who are being appraised, those who are appraising, are able to get the information in a loop method to ensure that uh, the feedback is given regarding the targets or regarding the aspects that have been uh, used for the performance process and in that uh, uh, that then is one of the traditional methods of appraising performance which can be used uh, in a given organization then there is the performance ranking method uh, performance ranking method uh, performance uh, ranking method performance ranking method so in the performance ranking method the way the, the 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 word suggests there will be a rank where the performance of a given employee is ranked the performance of another employee is also ranked and then based on uh, the ranking scale that is used uh, a score is uh, obtained then that that score is the one that is used uh, in uh, appraising the performance and informing decision making then there is what is referred to as uh, uh, critical incident method uh, critical uh, critical incident uh, method uh, cri critical incident method so through this learner uh, dear learner through this uh, technique or this approach what the supervisor does the supervisor will keep uh, some kind of uh, a record in terms of incidences that occur within the working environment. If an employee, for instance, uh, is not able to meet a target in the month of January, that is noted. If an employee damages a machine or equipment 
in the month of February, that is noted. So those incidences that are critical in relation to the work environment are, an, are taken note of. Then when it comes to appraising the performance of that particular employee, <laughs> these critical incidents methods are put into perspective and uh, the performance of that employee is evaluated as to whether it is good or it is satisfactory, whether it is very good or maybe if it's excellent, then based on that, it is possible to be able to evaluate the performance of a worker during a given uh, period of time. Then you have the rating scale method. The rating scale method. Uh, rating scales. Uh, scales uh, a method. So through the rating scales, uh, scales are put in place uh, in relation to uh, maybe say competency or on the attitudes of a given worker and uh, these scales could for example be given uh, uh, maybe a scale of maybe one to five uh, where maybe one for a particular attitude for example is uh, uh, the lowest five is the highest and then several scales that are relevant to a, a given position or a given job are taken into consideration and then uh, that uh, total that an employee receives over a period of time could be taken as uh, if it let's say maybe the scales the maximum is five and there are say five scales so the maximum points will be 25 in relation to that particular evaluation so the highest is 25 the lowest is five so depending on where an employee falls then that performance is evaluated in relation to the rating scales that are used uh, in terms of that particular setting so these ones are examples of uh, performance appraisal methods that may be used in a given setting. And we have indicated that you can have traditional methods, you can also have modern methods of <clears throat> evaluating performance. So we can also have a look at uh, modern methods, uh, modern methods uh, of uh, uh, appraising performance, appraising modern methods of appraising performance so there are various options that uh, an organization may make use of and uh, the modern methods of appraising performance uh, tend to improve on the traditional uh, methods of appraising performance and there are several of them uh, one of the uh, modern methods of appraising performance is what is referred to as uh, management by objectives uh, management uh, by objectives uh, management by objectives so the propo uh, the propounder or the founder of this particular management by objective uh, method was uh, Peter Drucker uh, Peter Drucker so Peter Drucker opined that opined that uh, if uh, managers uh, and workers or supervisors and workers uh, set particular objectives within the organizational context then those objectives can be used to be able to evaluate the performance uh, during a given period of time so if uh, uh, an organization wants to increase its market share, then it could agree between the managers and the workers in that particular section, for example, uh, that is the, <laughs> the objective to be achieved. <clears throat> then within the performance of the jobs of those employees, those objectives are broken down. So management by objectives, so objectives can be set, they are focused at the organizational level, but they are broken into the jobs that these particular employees do, then that becomes uh, a method that can be used to be able to apply, be applied in relation to appraisal of the performance of uh, a given employee. Then you also have what you call the three, 360 degree feedback. Uh, 360, uh, 360 uh, degree, 360 degree uh, feedback. Uh, feedback a method of 
of appraising performance. Appraising performance. So, Lana, this sometimes is also called uh, multi, uh, multi stage, Mul multi, uh, multi stage uh, uh, feedback a method. Now, what happen <laughs> What happens <clears throat> to the proponents of this particular approach? The proponents of this particular approach argue that you should have various uh, approaches through which you can receive feedback. For example, you can receive feedback from uh, supervisors about the performance of a given employee. You can also receive uh, from the peers or colleagues of that particular worker. You can also receive uh, uh, feedback from the employee, from employee. You may also go and receive feedback from the customers, for example. So once you look at the supervisor's input, the peers, you look at the colleagues that are working with that particular employee, you look at the customers or clients and the employee themselves regarding their performance and regarding in terms of how they do their work, then that feedback can form a basis on which appraisal of performance can be undertaken within a given organization and certain decisions made uh, for the purposes of evaluating the performance of a given uh, employee and so on. Then uh, next you have what you're calling a balanced scorecard. A balanced scorecard method. A balanced scorecard. Uh, a method of uh, appraising performance, uh, appraising performance. So, dear Lana, this was uh, propounded by Norton. Uh, Norton were the propounders of this uh, particular uh, Kaplan and Norton. Kaplan. Kaplan and Norton. So Kaplan and Norton argue that uh, when it comes to an organizational setting, you may want to look at uh, uh, different uh, perspectives and uh, these perspectives not necessarily have to be financial perspectives. So they brought in the element of uh, four perspectives where they looked at the financial perspective, they, look at, uh, they looked at the customer perspective, they looked at the learning and growth perspective. And uh, when you look at the internal, internal, you look at the learning perspective, and then you look at the customer and financial. So these perspectives are able to give you a, a view of the entire organization in relation to the performance of this particular employee. So the most important and crucial aspect this balanced card appraisal of performance looks at uh, uh, financial and non-financial, financial and non-financial perspectives, pa perspectives uh, of uh, appraisal, so that you are looking at, say, financial, you are looking at uh, the customer perspective, you are also looking at uh, uh, internal perspective, you are also looking at learning and innovation perspective. So these four perspectives will give you a clear picture of how an employee has performed. So. Uh, the most uh, critical contribution that uh, Kaplan and Norton brought into appraising of performance is that their, uh, their balanced scorecard introduced uh, uh, non-financial perspectives in terms of uh, evaluating performance of a given, uh, a given organization. So, dear Lana, uh, these are different methods of appraising performance and an organization may use a combination you may find that uh, for a particular organization, they may find that the balanced scorecard can be used effectively 
maybe in the area of uh, say marketing staff or marketing employees they may use for example a 360 degree method when it comes to say administrative uh, administrative uh, uh, employees they may use uh, uh, employees they may use uh, management by objective uh, maybe for example for departmental heads departmental heads because uh, departmental heads are dire directly dealing with uh, uh, issues that relate to the objectives of the organization and it is easier for that particular organization to be able to break down their performance in relation to objectives tied to the organizational objectives. So in today's lesson learner, we have looked at uh, techniques of appraising performance and we have indicated that uh, there are various techniques that are available at the disposal of a given organization and uh, these uh, methods of appraising performance can be divided into two where you have traditional methods of appraising performance you also have uh, modern methods of appraising uh, performance and uh, we have gone ahead and looked at the traditional methods of appraising performance and indicated that some of the methods traditional methods of appraising performance include number one a feedback mechanism uh, method and uh, through this method the supervisors and the employees provide a two-way loop so that uh, feedback is provided and desired behavior uh, or conduct is evaluated and so on then number two performance ranking method where the performance of uh, a given employee is uh, put on a scale and ranked and that is the performance ranking method then number three a critical incidents uh, incident method where the supervisor takes note of critical incident methods that are associated with the job and those ones are taken into consideration when appraising the performance of that kind of an employee then the rating scales where we have said the attitude or certain uh, uh, attributes can be uh, put on a rating scale of uh, let's say uh, five to one where one is the lowest five is the highest and then critical uh, att uh, attributes are picked for a given job then that is evaluated for that particular uh, employee then we have gone ahead learner and looked at uh, modern methods of appraising performance where we have said they may include management by objectives which was uh, propounded by uh, peter drucker uh, 360 that's the first one then second one 360 degree feedback method of appraising performance uh, it is also referred to as a multi-stage feedback uh, method uh, here supervisors peers or colleagues uh, employees themselves uh, uh, customers can also be used to provide information for appraising the performance of a given employee then you also have the balanced scorecard method of appraising performance that was propounded by Kaplan and Norton and in that uh, particular uh, balanced scorecard uh, perspective of uh, appraising performance there are four aspects uh, financial perspective none uh, you have four aspects for four perspectives financial perspective internal perspective customer perspective learning and innovation perspective and what is uh, critical to note the balanced scorecard method of appraising performance uh, was uh, uh, a pioneer a method of appraising performance that included uh, both the financial and non-financial uh, uh, perspectives of appraising performance. So Lana, we have come to the conclusion of uh, our lesson today and before we conclude uh, I need to leave you with an assignment and uh, your assignment for the lesson today is uh, assess assess uh, the techniques assess the techniques of appraising appraising uh, performance performance uh, that may be 
that may be utilized uh, in an organization that may be utilized in an organization so Lana this is your assignment and your assignment is uh, assess the techniques of appraising performance that may be utilized uh, in an organization so we have come to the end of our lesson today which was uh, techniques of appraising performance in the performance uh, management lesson under uh, the human resource uh, management uh, subject under uh, the manifested learning platform thank you very much for being active